What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Jessica. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you always know when I am uploading. So for this video, I am doing something a little different. I have a lot of leftover stuff from past videos that I've done that's just kind of laying around. Stuff I didn't use everything of or things that I never ended up using. But I wanted to take this opportunity to show you guys if you guys have stuff around your house that maybe you haven't touched in a long time or haven't used in a long time, but you still haven't thrown it away, it's just kind of hanging around, that there are ways to revamp it and make it something new that you can still have in your house, but isn't maybe as cluttery or an eyesore that maybe it is now. First thing I want to revamp is this makeup box that I got from a friend a really long time ago. I kept it and I keep like tampons and little toiletries in here. So it sits on the back of my toilet on the little back rest part. I don't know what that part's called. I know it has a name but I cannot think of it right now but you know what I'm talking about. It sits on the back. Since then it's obviously been through some tough love i've used it to hold down things to spray paint obviously that's why there's the gold color on there but i'm gonna give this guy a little facelift so first i'm gonna start off by spray painting him completely white with my box now painted all white i'm going to take some leftover twine that i had from my basket video and just like i did with my basket which by the way if you missed it no big deal i can put the link to it in the description box so you can see that i'm gonna take the rope start from the bottom and i'm gonna wrap it all the way around and also same with my lid so it is matching Now to finish it off, I am going to add these three little beads on top and they'll act as a handle to open it. Going to be using leftover material from my Goodwill thrift lift video. I had bought this skirt that I was going to flip but now I decided I'm gonna make it into a pillow because I love the neutral color and it's actually quite soft so a pillow it will be. And I also got this kind of uh, ribbon liner on clearance at Joann's and I have these leftover scarves that I no longer use, but again, they're just still chilling around my house. So they're all gonna become a part of my pillow. Now, for those of you who saw my DIY elephant pillow and you weren't trying to mess with it because I was sewing, I'm going to be making this pillow with no sewing whatsoever. I'm only gonna be using fabric glue, so this might be for you if that's all that you're trying to do too. So now because the sides of the skirt are already sewn, 
I'm gonna do a small rectangular throw pillow. So I'm just gonna cut here and then a thin strip here so it's like a rectangular throw pillow, All right? It's okay if your edges are not perfect because we are going to be gluing right here on the seam that we just cut and then we're gonna tuck it under and glue it to the other side like that and then that's gonna become our seam. One side seamed glued down and the other one still open I am going to fill it with my polyfill okay now I'm gonna slowly inch by inch try to close this top seam now mm. <laughs> Tuck. Okay. All right, we got the corner. We got the corner. Both sides of my pillow are now closed, and I'm just kind of maneuvering the fluff to kind of get an even amount throughout the whole pillow. I'm going to take my scarves and things that I'm going to use as a pattern. And I'm thinking I'm gonna do a stripe of the blue like this, like half the size of this. So cut that in half. A stripe of this fuzz one in the middle of the white one. So the white one's kind of bordering that. Two of those, so here and then here. And then I'll have the cute little blue stripe here in the middle and then all the way here on the side. Next one, this is leftover supplies that I had from my paint along with Bob Ross tutorial. They had a sale on easels that were a bundle of three for like ten dollars or something crazy like that. So I have leftover easels from that. So I'm using one of those and I have some leftover black acrylic paint. I thought it would be cute to do a little astrical kind of uh, sign with some lights and things like that. So first I'm going to paint this black for my night sky. I'm just taking a little foam paintbrush and I'm just going to paint the whole thing black. And then we're going to let that dry. My canvas is all dry now. I want to look up what my constellation looks like. where my main stars are going to land, I'm going to make some small little holes where I just made my pencil marks. Now that I have 
have all of my holes. I have these awesome string lights that I actually bought for my birthday a couple years ago. I think I'm gonna start, ooh, where to start? This furthest end over here. So, turn my canvas around. I'm gonna stick my light in the hole. out for my constellation. I think I'm going to paint on some stars with some of my gold glitter that I never got to use. And I'm just gonna do like a couple, a couple little dots, a couple little sparklies. one thing. y'all that's it for this video thank you so much for watching i hope you found it entertaining yet also helpful if you did go ahead and hit that like button if there's anything else you guys want to see me try leave it in the comments of course don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys next time peace